Hello everyone, we are going today to look at the Daniel Smith Lunar Colors. We look at Lunar Earth, Lunar Red Rock, Lunar Violet, Lunar Blue, Lunar Black. And I will add one more color that I like to use a lot interchangeably with lunar black and lunar violet which is primate color bloodstone genuine so the lunar colors are very very granulated some are one pigment colors like lunar earth like lunar red rock like lunar black and some are two pigment colors like lunar violet and lunar blue they're very special colors and we will look at them now we will start with lunar earth pbr 11 it's a very very uh, granulated burnt sienna like color I uh, usually use it all on its own or add it to other um, smooth brown colors to put more granulation. It's, uh, I use it mostly as uh, an adding uh, granulation color to other colors because uh, it doesn't have really um, an undertone it's more a uh, translucent or without color of the undertone so it's less uh, um, good as its own but sometimes i also also use it like that Next color would be Lunar Red Rock. Lunar Red Rock is a PR 101. I saw I uh, swatched it in my PR 101 videos, the pack versions. It's quite opaque. And again, it has, like all lunar colors, lots of granulation. I use it instead of Indian Red and Caput Mortem. In its mass tone, it can be quite opaque. And when diluted, it's uh, very soft. Next color we are going to look at is Luna Violet. We'll move it a little bit. Okay. Luna Violet is a two pigment blend. It is of PV15, which is all or ultramarine violet or ultramarine red which is a granulating color and with PBK 11 which is lunar black that we'll look at later lunar violet is really an interesting color it is it has this uh, two tones effect I sometimes uh, use it on its own just this color in a painting and sometimes i use it as a neutral tint to make shadows in valleys for example um, in landscapes 
you put some more water so you can see the granulation more and the two tones effect next color we look at is lunar blue I put it uh, in a palette that I showed a few videos ago. And today we'll use it in another palette. It's a great color. It also has the two tones effect because of the lunar black PBK 11 and the PB 15 fatal blue type of color you put just a little bit more I use it sometimes as a paints gray and sometimes on its own And uh, there is a color that is uh, very, very like it, which is the Blue Appetite Genuine. Next color we look at is the Lunar Black. This is a really granulating color. And the two bl pigments blends in this range are made with this color, this lunar black, PBK 11. It is a very useful color. And I like to mix it with more smooth colors to create this interesting effect. The last color we look at is Bloodstone Genuine. It's not a lunar color, but I sometimes use lunar colors, the lunar violet or the lunar black, instead of Bloodstone Genuine. And I really, really like this color. show it in other versions it has a it's like a black granulation with a purple a violety undertones and it's really really beautiful so let's look at all of them a little bit later show pictures of them when they are dry these colors are really really amazing i also created a mini palette of 12 colors with these lunar colors and i added more colors to make it more interesting so uh, i put it in ha in quarter pans in this really really tiny palette and here is a very very small mixing space the colors are bath titanium lemon yellow pyrrole crimson lunar violet cobalt blue lunar blue mars yellow bronzite genuine lunar earth venetian red lunar red rock and lunar black so now i will swatch them so the first color would be bath titanium 
pigment P W six column one very opaque off white color very granulating use it a lot in urban sketching next color would be lemon yellow py 175 it's a cool yellow very good one next color would be pyrol crimson which is a mid to cool red pr264 and i like to color mix it a lot next color would be luna violet pv15 pbk11 next color would be cobalt blue pb28 very granulating colors it will be the warm blue in this palette and i use it instead of ultramarine blue next color would be lunar blue i will use it as the cool blue in this palette and also as a paints gray next color would be mars yellow it's going to be the warm and the earth yellow in this palette it's a granulating py42 it's very creamy i like it a lot next color would be bronzite genuine it's a bit iridescent it has some mica in it and it's a primate color i like to mix it a lot to create interesting effects and also on its own as the sand or some uh, shine in urban sketching in a building next color would be lunar earth pbr 11 would be my kind of burnt sienna in this palette next color is venetian red we talked about it in my last video of the opaque pr 101 we'll take a little bit out so we can look at it better next color was also in that video is luna red rock which is pr 101 very granulating kaput mortem like color 
almost violet kind of color and the last color would be lunar black so this is the palette that i created oh, sorry Sorry. So this is the palette. Now we'll do some color mixing. So the first uh, color mixes I would like to create would be some bath titanium and some lunar colors. We'll start with lunar blue. It creates a really interesting color. And then uh, lunar violet. That also creates really beautiful effects with the buff titanium. Another combination would be buff titanium. with some lunar earth it makes the lunar earth more soft next combination would be the lemon yellow with lunar blue it creates a very beautiful green and also lemon yellow with the cobalt blue next color combinations would be the pyrrole red sorry pyrrole crimson and the lunar blue creates a really interesting violet and pyrrole crimson with cobalt blue which creates more strong purples and violets Next, we look at um, Pyrrole Crimson and Lemon Yellow. Pyrrole Crimson and Mars yellow which creates a more muted orange
and we look at lemon yellow with some lunar violet it gives an interesting effect it neutralizes the lunar violet Next color would be um, Lunar Earth. With Lemon Yellow. Create a really beautiful color. Lunar Earth. with cobalt blue they bit neutralize each other mm. i think i put the wrong color so let's do a new one lunar earth and cobalt blue we put the Venetian red, so it's not the right combination. So this is the lunar, lunar Earth and Cobalt Blue. We can do... Um, Venetian red with lunar blue which creates some kind of black and uh, lunar red rock Well, I try to create it with Lunar Blue, but they all mixed together. So let's look at them all. They're very beautiful mixes. I like them a lot. And I think that uh, I will use this palette a lot in landscapes both urban and both regular ones outdoor ones so thank you for watching i will uh, put pictures of everything with the names and have a nice time bye